All right, let's be honest. This is me making up for all the mistakes I made during the Feuer Schwanz reaction to the one that is apparently about North Majology. And I won't say the D word. I won't say the M word. I won't make any mistakes because this has nothing to do with that. So for those who don't know, I did a reaction to the new Feuer Schwanz, which was kind of a take on some Norse mythology, a little bit of Thor, a little bit of Odin, a little bit of Fenrir, a little bit of Loki, a little bit of LUVT, you know, Fabian from there. And of course, the amazing Feuerschwanz. Now, I made a lot of jokes. It was jokes. They were just, ha, 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 jokes. I wasn't being serious, you know? But apparently, if you make jokes about Norse mythology, when a band from Europe is singing about Norse mythology, even though the band is just doing it for fun and because of fun of it, you never know. Fan bases can get pretty serious. So I got a little little hate from that. I still love you guys. Come on. Feuerschwanz fan base is my favorite fan base. Why? Because the entire fan base loves folk metal. Which is like my favorite genre of music. So give me a break. I'm trying. So to make it up, we're actually going to do legitimate <laughs> folk music. Norse folk music. This is Wardrunna Aurora Helvigen. Now, I probably said that wrong because it's me. Remember? I'm wrong. But this one shouts out to all of you. Now, this one was, of course, if you're watching this live on twitch.tv slash oldschoolnerd, you're watching me react to this live. And Anthax, one of my buddies, one of my true Scandinavian bros, old school guy, old school member of my community, said, here you go. Make it up. Make it up to Forrest Schrantz's fan base. Do a proper, proper folk music reaction. This is live. This is my reaction. Are you ready? It doesn't matter if you're ready. Anthax requested this live on twitch.tv. We're doing it live. You're just going to see it on YouTube later. Ready? Here we go. By the way, my entire chat on twitch.tv thinks right now that all the people who had a bunch of problems with the way that I reacted to Forest Rants, they, they, they think you guys are just babies and you need to get over it. I didn't say it. They said it. If you have a problem with it, come to twitch.tv, old school nerd, during my live stream, and put my chat in their place. Please, please do so. <laughs> I love picking fights. All right, here we go. <laughs> hey, 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 hey. Wardruna. And Aurora, this is a live performance of Helvigan. If you love this, by all means, please. And put a like. Thank you, Sheena. Here we go. You ready? Proper, proper cultural music, Northern European. I'm not going to say it's Norse or Scandinavian or anything in particular because I know that it's kind of a, a broad brush. It's a lot of cultures. That come from this old school style of cultural music. So I ain't labeling anything. All I know is stuff's gonna be good. Ready? Here we go. Let's do it. I see fire already. That's that's a that's that that's a good sign. There's antlers. That's a lot of hair on her arms.
Okay, not meaning to stop it, but I, I just want to reiterate something. This is my favorite genre of music. I love metal. Okay, I do. I really, really do. But I spent 15 years, literally from around like 2000, 2001, all the way to 2018, close to when I started YouTube again, where I didn't listen to any metal at all because I was into folk music. I know I've put on a big list. There's like Feuerschwanz and there's Ad Infinitum and there's like Frozen Crown and Windrose and L-U-V-T and all like layers and layers and layers of bands that I want to see if I ever go to Europe. A performance like this, pure, primitive, cultural just i wouldn't even call it folk music i call it mythological storytelling because it's like literally like the ancient history of a region of the world just comes to life it's the kind of thing that stirs the soul it's the kind of thing if you see it live in front of you all the hair on your body is going to stand up like the sleeves on on that outfit she's got and you'll never forget the moment it occurs. It's on my bucket list. I want to see a performance like this as bad as I want to go to Copenhagen, Helsinki, Oslo, you know, uh, all these different places in the Nordic areas, Sweden, Finland, Norway, um, uh, uh, Denmark, you know, and, and even into like Germany and, and, and Belgium and, and, and Holland and, and, and the UK, all those areas, as much as I want to go to all those areas and absorb it, see it, experience it, be there from a audio standpoint. If you're looking at the Black Forest of Germany, if you're looking at the fjords of Norway, if you're looking at the at the Baltic Sea, uh, at the Black Sea, um, and, or you know the, the Black Sea, or you go up to the Baltic Sea or the North Sea, all these different areas throughout Europe and into Asia and 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 even south to the Mediterranean. When you see those natural, not talking the cities, I'm talking about the mountains, nature, the the, the, the capture the 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 essence of what it is visually. This is what it is to hear it. So when you look at a fjord in Norway or a snow plain in Sweden or a dark forest covered in snow in Finland, you see those things. This is what it's like to hear those things. That makes sense? This is the musical representation of the life force of those parts of the world. That's why I love this music. And that's why getting to experience a live performance of a band like this is on my bucket list. That's all I have to say about that. I'm getting off my soapbox and I'm just going to listen to the rest of it.
Okay, so for all the jokes and fun that we have, whenever I do reactions to bands like Forrest Schwantz, or when I do reactions to Sabaton and Tommy Johansson, and so many, and 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 even like Leo Baracchioli and all these amazing people from this part of the world, I do have fun on reactions. But this is one of those times where I look at all of those people from that part of the world, and I tell you, yes, I do have fun when I do reactions, but when I hear music like this. That is literally the heartbeat, the sound of your culture, the sound of your history, the sound of that land, the sound of that sea, of the of that region. It 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 I, I get it. I really get it. To me, the sound of a band like this, a performance like this live, singing the cultural music with no manipulation just trying to be as pure as possible the way i tell people is it's one of those things that i, I really appreciate musically so what i'm telling you is is i want to visit the norse areas i want to visit the northern european areas i want to visit all those areas not just for the people which is a big reason all of you and and the cities and the culture and the food yes i'm looking forward to the food as well but the landscape, the bite of a wind coming off the mountain, you feel it on your skin. The spray of a wave crashing, being caught by the wind and spraying and wetting your face. Those are feelings that you feel on your skin. The visions of a fjord, a mountain range, a forest, the nature, the wildlife, those are things you see. The other sense to hear it, this music is to hear what that part of the world is to me. So that's the level of respect and honor I, I paid to those traditional artists, bringing that to light for all of us. So as much fun as I have making jokes when bands from that part of the world have fun and they're being silly or being metal or ah, you know all that stuff when it, when it comes time to uh give proper reverence and honor to the actual culture the people the region the history all of it i get it i'm being 100 percent real my name is old school nerd and i hope you enjoyed this reaction and if you come from this area and you get to experience this music Please go support your local folk and cultural music artists because that culture, that history is rapidly deteriorating. It's being forgotten. Bands like this keep it alive. You need to support them. I just hope I get to join you one day. And with that, we'll see you later. Thanks for watching, everybody. If you enjoyed this video, give us a like. It really helps the channel grow. Also, if you want to subscribe, right there. Big thank you to all my Patreons out there. We appreciate everything you do. If you want more content like this video, check them out above. Remember, love one another, take care of each other. We're all stuck on this mud ball together. We'll see you later.